Hello everyone and welcome back. It's time that uh, we open up the tumbler here and take a look after step one. I actually left this in for two additional days. I was going to remember in the beginning I was going to leave it in for seven. I left it in for nine because in the first about day and a half, two days, I was noticing that it was going kind of slow and two times it actually stopped for a little bit and I was out here and I heard it and I got it going again. Well then I took this apart and uh, the where the belt hooks up right here on this little pulley, the set screw was a little bit loose on there and I tightened that down and now it's been working perfectly. And that first grind, I, you know, usually you'll get done and I mean, just adding a little bit of time will just break those rocks down a little bit more. So we should be doing pretty good. You can see this nice slurry that it made in here that's been grinding these rocks down. We're going to be rinsing all this off, but do not put it down your uh, the drain in your house because it will form like concrete in the trap and you'll have definitely have a plugged up sink. So what we're going to do is we're going to go dump this into a plastic colander. We're going to rinse these off super good. Uh, we're going to actually what, scrub these out with a toothbrush and everything also. And But one thing, just so I don't forget, you don't want your rocks to get dry at any time during this whole four-week process. You always want them to stay wet. You can see now all the sharp edges are nice and soft. And if you know if you wanted to grind these down farther, you can certainly put it in and do a whole other week in the grind. But I usually just do, especially when I did nine days like this, I'm fine with this. Look at some of the lines in there though. You can see with this big one, which was all mainly brown, now you find out that it's mainly quartz. A lot of that outside is wore off. Take a look at this one right here. I like it if you can see the little circle things right there with all the lines. All right, well, since I don't want these to dry out, I'm going to take and put them in water. And remember now, the next grind is going to be a, not as, as harsh of a grit, but it's still going to grind them down farther and farther. So now between each step, we want to make sure that we're not taking some of the uh, abrasive that was on this one and putting it into the next batch. Much less critical at this point in it when we're going from step one to step two. But when you get up into the later steps and we're getting down to the real true polish and not the just grind the rocks down smooth, then it becomes really critical. It would be like washing a mirror or your windows with a Windex and you have a rock on your rag. You know, it's they're going to scratch. It's not going to be as shiny. And now the most critical part, like this rock here, it's pretty rounded. You're not, there's not any dirt that's sticking to this side or any of that grind. But when I get on the back side, you see those craters in there? That's where it sticks. And then the little pieces can lodge out and scratch up all your rocks. So you want to get in there and get that washed up pretty good. Look at the pretty bands in that one. I mean, this isn't a true agate, but just a nice pretty rock. This one's pretty smooth, but it has some little indents in there that need to be cleaned out. Make sure there's no abrasive in there. Looking at this rock, you know, it's got a real hard surface all over here, but then look after it ground down, this is softer. I'm gonna leave this one in for one more grind and see if that pulls out. Otherwise, I'm a little worried that that might hurt me when it comes down time for the real polishing of it, but we're gonna leave it in for now.
Well, I have all the rocks are washed now. Uh, I'm gonna take them, run them through the colander again. I need to go inside here and I need to toothbrush this too. You wanna make sure that your tumbler itself is clean. And it looks to me like I have the right volume of rocks still. I still have enough of the smaller rocks, so I'm not gonna have to add any filler yet. So we're doing good there. For step two, we're still using that same silicon carbide, but this is a 150-220. Looks pretty much the same, only it's just much finer. It doesn't feel, it kind of feels like powder even though it still looks kind of like lava rock again. Once again, just like in step one, actually for all the steps, the exact same amount. So for my six pound tumbler here, I want 10 level tablespoonfuls of my grit. Just like in step one, we're going to add water till it just comes up through the rocks. Just about like that. Now we're just going to close it back up. Okay everyone, well thanks a lot for watching. Step one is complete, step two is started, and we'll be back here in, I don't know, roughly seven days, get these all cleaned up, and get started with step three. We'll see you guys on the next video.